The government is under fire for failing to tackle the disease that's threatening to devastate much of Britain's woodland. More than 10,000 ash trees have already been burned, but leading scientists say they may have found an antidote which could cure ash trees with a simple spray. Our science reporter, Asha Tanner, no relation, has been to meet the man who says he has a solution. The loss of leaves each autumn is nothing new, but this year, with every ash leaf that falls, the chances of stamping out the fungal disease ash dieback also falls. Up here you have an ash tree, you can tell it by its leaves, and the leaves are the area of vulnerability. Um, Chilara fractionaria attacks the ash through the leaves, that's where we've got to get the treatment. Tim Mott is working with a group of scientists who've developed an antidote which they say can kill the fungus and cure the trees. What I think we've learnt about this disease and other tree diseases which are present in this country now is they are going to spread. It seems almost impossible to stop them. Um, you're not going to stop them by restricting imports. You're not going to stop them by burning. So we have to find a treatment. We've got to find a solution. Infected seedlings were first discovered in February. And this year, around 100,000 trees have been destroyed in an effort to control the disease. But scientists say burning will spread ash dieback further through fungal spores being released into the atmosphere. <coughs> Despite calls for testing to be made an urgent priority, Channel 4 News has learnt that trials of this particular antidote are in a queue. DEFRA and the Forestry Commission say they have to consider all options. We're using government scientific experts to approach companies with proposed treatment solutions and rapidly review and evaluate them to see if they have potential for further testing and development. The science behind this latest cure is relatively simple and its creators say cheap to make. A hectare of forest could be protected at a price of just under a pound. Inventors of the antidote, CUPC33, say copper ions are mixed with nitrates and phosphates to create a nutrient. The nutrient can then be sprayed directly onto the leaves of ash trees or their roots. As a tree absorbs the nutrient, the solution is distributed all around the tree. It's more toxic to the fungus which it kills, but not to its host. Although a temporary ban on imported trees and saplings around the country is now in place, there are fears that the action has come a little too late. Today, a group of MPs called for a debate on how to control and minimise new pests and diseases affecting other UK tree species. The government has called an emergency summit on tree health next week. But for every day that passes, more leaves fall and so does the chance of saving our woodlands.